Hello and welcome to iview for you Today I'm going to be reviewing a game called Zombie Highway. And this game is compatible on all devices and requires an iOS of 4.3 or later. Um, there is a free version, or a light version, I guess it's called, in the App Store, where you can try it out. And, of course, it's a little more limited than, than the purchase version. But if you like the game, the purchase version only costs 99 cents, so it's not too much, I guess. So this is the the opening screen. Um, there's achievements in this game, and you can change the settings for different controls. There's tilt controls, so basically when you control uh, the the car's driving on its own, and then if you want to turn, you could you know tilt or whatever way it goes. I think this way, but some games go this way, so I don't really know. But um. But for the sake of this review, I'm going to leave the tilt controls off because if I tilt it, it'll keep going off camera and be hard to keep still. So uh, I'm not going to use that. There's achievements in this game, which is uh, through Game Center. And I'm sure most of you know how Game Center works. So you can go ahead and check those out if you're into scoring all those achievements. And it tells you your progress and how uh, how many miles you've driven, how many zombies you killed. You could hit this arrow for news in this game, but the most recent news seems to have come in November. So um, I'm I don't know how often they update this because I've only had this game for about a week or so. So um, I don't know if they really add too much more to it, but um, let's go ahead and start. So this is the level screen. You could do endless or classic. Classic mode. Um, you pretty much you have guns you could use to shoot the zombies, or uh, you could drive and run them over. There's no weapons mode where all you could do is drive, and you don't have weapons, obviously. And then there's other modes you could unlock. This one you had to unlock too, but I, I just did enough to get it. Um, it says unlock by driving a total of 20 miles. Unlock by getting a bronze medal on the classic level and driving a total of 60 miles. So pretty much you just have to do a, uh, drive a certain amount of miles and sometimes do something like get a bronze. And it tells you what to do on each one. So I'm going to do classic for right now. And then, so here you could pick your car. And it's kind of the same thing. For, to get newer cars, uh, earn a bronze medal or better on three levels or drive 50 miles. So, it seems like I'm kind of close to 50 miles. I might get that before I get a bronze on three levels, because I only have two unlocked right now. Um, and then the same thing, it tells you what to do. And uh, there's only four cars, but this one you start with, it gives you for free, so you don't have to unlock it. And then here's the guns. Um, you, you could have up to three guns uh, um, equipped on you, I, I think. That's what it seems like from current weapon selection. Um, the one it has right now, it's kind of like a, um, I guess, recommended. It kind of gives you what it thinks is the best combination to have. Uh, but you could change the setup if you want. You just hit the X and um, you choose a different gun. And this is the same. You, you unlock them as you go. Um, when you first start, all you have is, is this pistol. And then I unlocked uh, this double barrel shotgun and this MSMG, and also this zero zero five. Um, it's a little more powerful than the original, but the, for the ones you don't have, it tells you kill twenty five red zombies, sixteen more, or you could unlock in the gun shop. But to do that though, you just you pay real money, which I don't want to do, because you could unlock it for free. So, and it tells you what to do to get them. And that's basically it for um, the settings b before starting. So let's go ahead and start. So the car moves by itself, and you could turn and run over zombies. And when they jump on your car like that, you could either shoot them or you could hit 
another car on the side like that, and it'll damage them. And of course, as you go on, they get stronger. But there's also ways to kind of like, sometimes you could trick the zombies and they'll miss your car if you, if you could swerve enough. So pretty much all you're trying to do is drive through, kill as many zombies as you can. And what the zombies are trying to do is they jump on your car and try to flip your car over. So if there's too many on one side, then, um, then you'll end up flipping over. So this is the gun I have out right now, which is this machine gun. Um, I could, if you hit this down here, it'll change your gun. So, oh, you have to pick uh, if you want, you could change your pistol or the shotgun or whatever weapons you have equipped there. So, um, I'll go with the shotgun right now. Now this fat guy down here, oops. Okay, well that's one way to lose is if you crash into the cars before uh, the zombies flip you over. I mean, if it's just one, sometimes you can get or get around it. But if it's a group like those three, then you get stuck and you lose and you have to start over. And it looks like you got a new level. So, okay. Okay, so um, I just went back to the menu. I'm going to try one of the other modes now. Uh, let's see, your action time is put to the test. Visibility is low, danger is high. Okay, uh, first I'll try new wep no weapons. And I think I turn off the volume. Alright, that should be good. So one thing I kind of noticed in this game, I haven't quite tested it, but even though you go a lot slower in the dirt, I think you could just like stay out on the edge and no zombies will ever get you. Oh, well I guess I was too far on the edge. But maybe if you go to like here. Well I guess one, zo one zombie got me. But the other ones aren't really making it. Anyway, um, it was working earlier, but I guess it doesn't always work, but, uh, so this mode's pretty much the same as the other mode I was doing, there's just no guns, so I'll go ahead and try the mist. And so these circles... There's just pretty much front window, front left, front right, back right, and back left. And it, it flashes telling you like what side you could shoot the zombies on. And there's different kinds of zombies like the this one right here is just kind of like a strong zombie. The red ones are regenerating zombies. So they're health, they're strong zombies and they regenerate health. And then there's also like just normal weak zombies that die really quickly. There's fat zombies that they don't really, they don't pull on your car or anything like the other ones do, but they just make it heavier. So if you get extra ones, it, like if you get another zombie on that side and they're trying to, trying to pull your car to flip over, it, um, they'll just make it heavier and a little bit easier for your car to flip. So this is basically all you do, you just avoid the cars, try to avoid the zombies if you can, and shoot them if they're on your car. Now one thing you have to also be careful for is, even though you're trying to hit the cars on the side to make the zombies fall off, if they're pulling on your car and you're turning the same direction at the same time, it'll flip over a lot easier. So, um... So when this fat guy's on, he's not going to pull. He's just going to make it heavier on that side. But, um... 
So if the if the zombies are pulling on one side or if there's two on the same side, you might want to be careful turning that direction. Unless you're sure you could hit the hit the car before they flip you over. And I'm out of ammo right now, so I don't know how much longer I'm gonna last. So I have to keep trying to turn right when they pull so I don't flip over. And now I'm kind of screwed. So, we'll see how this goes. Alright, and I crashed. And it looks like I unlocked a new car. Finally a vehicle to fit, fit for the task. You'll have a few more seconds to breathe. So, um... So it seems like that car will probably just be a little bit more uh, stronger, harder to flip over. So I'll have a little bit more time on the ground. And this says I need to get a bronze medal on the classic level and drive a total of 60 miles. And I'm only about halfway there. So I'll go one more run on classic mode using the new car I got. And I'll use the same guns because they're the best ones I have right now. So I'll go ahead and start. So I find the best way to start is just by running over the zombies as much as you can. So that way you don't get stuck with too many on your car. And that was kind of cheap, because he just went through the front of my car, but... Also, it's probably best not to use too much ammo in the beginning, because these zombies are really weak and really easy to knock off of your car. So, it's better to wait for when there's a bunch of zombies coming at you. So this car seems like it doesn't tilt as much when they're when they're pulling it, but I'm sure it'll um, it'll still fall over if you're turning while they're all pulling on it at the same time. So when you're on the opposite side of the road, a lot of times it's kind of hard for them for them to jump on your car or they. Just don't jump at all if you're far enough. But it just kind of depends. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. Sometimes they'll miss. So you just kind of have to look ahead and see what's coming and see it. Hopefully you could avoid it. And that's basically it to this game. There's not too much more to it besides unlocking the extra cars, extra levels, and extra guns and all that. But there's not there's not um, really anything different. You just keep driving as far as you can and kill as many zombies as you can. And try not to tip over and that's about it. So, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this review, and make sure you leave some requests for any other apps you want to see reviewed, and I'll make those for you as soon as I can.